How important is it to time our meals and be intentional about when we eat? It's pretty important if we're looking about how our clock is aligned yeah. and how we are repairing while we're sleeping. Because if we're eating late and we've shifted everything late because people eat late, they go to bed, they wake up, they're not hungry, they don't dampen that cortisol peak for women, and then they don't sleep very well because if you are eating right before bed, your body is using parasympathetic response to digest instead of invoke really good sleep. So we see a lot of this circadian misalignment that's occurring. We see it a lot in shift workers. We see it a lot in our global society of staying up late and working and having screens. And the impact on metabolism is that it changes appetite hormones for women, where it will increase the craving for carbohydrates and the desire to eat more, and they don't ever feel full. For men, it's just a craving aspect. And so they'll eat according to cravings. It's called hedonistic eating rather than a true change in appetite hormones. So people who are having difficulty sleeping and difficulty changing body composition for overall health, we shift it. We're like, okay, we want to shift to be able to eat during the day and to have regular food at regular intervals so that our body has fuel to do what it needs during the day. We stop eating at dinner time, which is around six or seven, have a good two to three hours before we go to bed so that when we do go to bed, all our parasympathetic responses can go into getting really good sleep ar architecture. So that means that we get really good um, phases of sleep for optimal physical mental re recovery. Because if we have that, then we have better blood glucose control, so better insulin responses. We're able to have more energy during the day and our, all of our systems work better. I, I had noticed something uh, intriguing about me, which is when I wake up early to go to the airport. So say I have to wake up at like 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. to go to the airport. I am so hungry. Yeah. And I've never understood why. Because if I wake up at say 9 a.m., mm -hmm. I don't wake up as hungry. Yep. Why? Your brain is perceiving a stress. And this is that hedonistic where you're uh, like, oh, my brain is like, I'm under stress and I need fuel. Uh, I need glucose. So it thinks like a line has woken me up. Yeah. Fucking hell, that makes so much sense. Yeah. Honestly, it's so, it's so, it's always confused me because sometimes I have to wake up super early, so 2, 3 a.m. to go get a plane or something. Mm -hmm. And when I get to the airport, I'm so hungry. Yep. But like a day today, what time is it? It's 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. and I haven't eaten yet. I know you're mad at me. <laughs> no, but I haven't eaten yet because I don't want to eat before I do a podcast because then it's going to like, it like messes with my articulation. So I can't get the words out of my mouth. Okay. That's, I, maybe that's bullshit. I'm saying this to someone that knows what they're talking about, but maybe there's something else I could eat. But I just find that if I eat something heavy or yeah. if generally if I eat, the way that I've always rationalized it is all the oxygen's like going to my digestive system. Is that nonsense? That's nonsense. Is it actually? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so can I eat before I do a podcast? Yes, you can. And it won't impact my ability to articulate myself? Mm -hmm. If you're really worried, then you can have like a protein shake or protein water. You can sip protein water while you're having a podcast. So then you're getting amino acids circulating. Your hypothalamus is like, sweet, okay, we're all good to go. But I hear you because I don't like to have a lot of food in my stomach when I'm going to be concentrating a lot or trying to articulate. Mm -hmm. So I eat things that are high in protein but easy to digest. You okay. Try that. So like protein water, a protein shake would be a good idea before. Or hard-boiled eggs. Hard-boiled eggs, okay. Yeah.